Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara and I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. And today I'm gonna to be playing with the new Beauty Bay Palette Botanical. This is an incredible palette. And I played with the Unearthly Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted. This palette and the Botanical palette are relatively new, but I just have not had a chance to play with them. So I'm gonna be doing this eye look for you today. For a little housekeeping, the Beauty Bay Botanical Palette is currently still in stock. It is $22 US dollars. You get 1.4 grams of total product. I think I mentioned there were 25 shades. There are only 20 shades. Somewhere in this video I mentioned 25. There's only 20. I guess I can't count. That said, this is described as a limited edition 20 shade color palette of greens, apricots, rust, purples, and gray to unleash your luscious eye looks yet. It is vegan and cruelty free. There are nine shimmer shades in here, which include a couple of multi-chromes, duochromes, and 11 matte shades. It's incredibly cohesive. I think for the price point that you're paying here, you are getting a steal. This is a 12 month palette. However, all of my Beauty Bay palettes have lasted me quite a bit longer than 12 months. And as for the Unearthly Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted palette, this palette is also vegan and cruelty free with a 24 month shelf life. There's not a description on the website listed for this yet. It's still listed as a mystery. It's 86 US dollars, 12 shades. Each one of these shades, even though I only played with one in this eye look, you probably have each one of these shades somewhere in your collection if you create, well, collect singles, not create. But if you collect singles, you, sh you should probably have a couple of something like this already. It's not necessarily a palette that you need to go run out and buy. And I think it's the third one that they have created overall, as far as the Unearthly Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted palettes. I don't have the first two, I only have this one. It's a beautiful palette. And as per always, if you find today's video enjoyable in any way, which is the goal to entertain, please give this video a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because if you're not already subscribed, you're definitely missing out. I prime my eyes with the Kaleidos Tone Activator. I'm gonna use the shade Clay and pack it onto the outer corner first before bringing it into my crease. I'm gonna use it as a transition. The only problem is it's quite deep for me for a transition, but I'm gonna make it work and show you how you can. You don't really even need a transition shade. You just can use any shade you want. I'm going in with the Deep Eggplant shade. It's actually named Eggplant. Using my Danessa Merrick's My Kit Co. This is a My 31 brush. It is a fantastic brush for hooded eyes. I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm layering it right on top of that other shade. I'm gonna blend it into this corner and this crease. I'm not getting any patchiness with this palette, which is fantastic because I have a bunch of these Beauty Bay palettes. I started buying them after Make Me Up Missa. She's here on YouTube. She loves her Beauty Bay palettes and is always using them. So I got turned on to these shadows from her. I'm taking the shade Dune on a Makeup Forever brush. I'm gonna bring this about halfway across my lower lash line and bring it up to meet this deep shade here. I had to step away for a minute. I needed to do something with my sun. So I have to catch up. There is, that's not patchiness. It was just skipping over my fold. I'll have to kind of edit that off camera. And now with the shade Dune on a My 29 Danessa Merrick's My Kit Co brush, I'm gonna blend out that shade Oak. Now for the fun part, I'm taking the shade Matcha on a T3 by Sonia G. I'm gonna pack this all into the inner third here, into the crease. I'm gonna leave the crease blank for the time being. And I'm really going to do my best to just build this up and pack it in. I want this vibrant matcha green shade to be the star of the show. So it's going into the inner corner here, inner crease. And then I will blend it out 
a little bit later. This to me adds such a lovely contrast. I think this is one of the more beautiful shades in this palette. And I felt like being against that eggplant shade would really make this pop. And it's definitely looking like it's coming together. I cleaned off that Danessa Marks My 29 brush and I am going to tightly pack in the shade Myrtle right here into the crease and I'm not going to make it too deep. Just a little bit of contrast. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the inner corner. I'm stopping right before I hit that inner corner. I really just want to pack it into this crease. And this is the perfect brush for any type of crease work. I'm gonna lightly go back in with that shade matcha and just carefully dust around that shade Myrtle. This is one of the more beautiful shades I have ever seen. I love a soft green, just like this. I'm gonna take this shade Artichoke on my finger and what I'm gonna do without any shimmer, well shimmer adhesive, like a glitter glue, is just pack it into the center of my lid I'm gonna to try to avoid too much of my crease if I can help it. And I'm gonna to try to avoid bringing it all the way to the inner corner. I'm just gonna tap lightly over this eggplant shade. If I lose too much of it, I'll go ahead and pack it back on. I will refine this off camera, but I just want you to see how beautiful this green shade is. And then next to this eggplant shade, it's breathtaking. It's a beautiful contrast. Now I'm going to take the shade Lily on a My 19 brush, just kind of pack that into my brow bone a little bit and diffuse that original shade I laid down. I forget the name of it. Clay? Right here in the brow bone. I'm going to carefully bring that out and sweep it all towards the tail of my eyebrow. Now I'm going to switch over to the Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the All I Ever Wanted palette. Honestly, I think it's the third one that they have launched, but this one is a much smaller palette. This came out in July. I want to use the shade Starlight. What I want to do is pack it over that green, but kind of gently into the first third of my eyelid. I just, I'm a little worried it might transform the look too much. So we are going to, whoa, okay. Very carefully here, bring it into that inner third. Wow. I barely picked that up on my finger and it has transformed that green. I very carefully tapped it over that green shade, the green metallic, and it's giving. It is giving. I'm going to very carefully take that shade on a Sigma. This is an E36 blending brush. Very tiny, very flimsy. I'm going to carefully brush this into the inner crease of my inner third right here and then kind of in between that plum shade or the eggplant shade there rather and that matcha green and then into my brow bone i lost a little too much of the shade matcha in my inner corner so i am going to reapply this and just pack it in right into that nook and cranny this turned out perfect I don't want to add anything to it. I'm just going to do my liner, mascara, and figure out what lashes I want to wear. I finished this look off with the knob like Cupid's Arrow in the shade Maroon. It works perfectly with this color combination and a pair of Kiss New Natural High Bun Lashes. I'm getting a little bit better at applying lashes. It's still difficult for me. This palette from Beauty Bay is still in stock. If you are not sure about the Beauty Bay formula, let me tell you, it is a very good formula. I was surprised the first time I ever bought a a palette from Beauty Bay. My first experience with Beauty Bay was the Wilderness palette. This reminds me of that, only more muted and subdued. I can see the botanical theme around this. It's a lovely inspiration. They captivated it perfectly in the color story. You can wear this spring, summer, fall. Heck, you can even wear it for winter. It really doesn't matter. I like this. I think it's a very cohesive palette from your lights to your darks. You can mix and match. I was able to mix the greens, the plums, well, it's actually eggplant, but kind of has that undertone to it. And I came up with a cohesive look. For the Unearthly Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted palette, 
I only played with the one shade, Starlight. It's an incredible shade. It actually worked perfectly with this look. I wasn't sure what I'd be going into, but honestly, this is so beautiful. In hindsight, I don't need it. I have a ton of single multi-chrome duochromes, and this was just not a necessary purchase for me. I bought it blindly. It was a blind buy. I'm not overly fond of the Constant Mystery palettes. I get caught in that FOMO, which is a great marketing tactic. Amanda does great. That's a great marketing tactic. It's just, I'm going to go ahead and stop putting myself into that situation and back out of it and remind myself that a lot of these mystery palettes, they really don't make me happy when I have them. Like, it, it makes me happy. Let me rephrase that. The formula is beautiful. A lot of these shades are incredible. That makes me happy, but I don't need this. So when I saw it in person, I was like, yeah, it's beautiful, but it doesn't really wow me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pump the brakes on the FOMO for the mystery palettes. I only played with one shade, but I can't imagine any of the other shades, especially this Blood Moon shade here. I'm looking forward to playing with this one, but I can't imagine any of these other shades in this palette are duds or just not worth playing with, but I have so many of these shadows in other palettes, in singles, I didn't need it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you so very much. Everything on my face today is linked in the description box down below. I'm playing with the new Dior contour stick and foundation stick. Absolutely love these, these are amazing. Those links are affiliated, so if you click on them, I do earn a small commission, so thank you so very much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate you. Do something for yourself today because just like myself, you are worth it.